There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of Fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Your first lesson is upstairs on the third floor, Mr. Potter. Off you go. Hey, Harry, remember me, Ron Weasley? My brothers, Fred and George, have something to show you. Follow me. Follow me, Harry. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room.
Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. Young Cotter, you're lovely, but what can we do? Oh, I'm Peeves, Potter, and you better watch out for me. <laughs> in the hang of this. In Hogwarts, you'll find all sorts of wicked treats. To pick up a treat, just run over to it. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. Bertie Bot's every flavour beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us and we'll show you the way to class. the one with the wizard card. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Climb through the secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Remember? Defense against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me.
I am Professor Quirrell. T Today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the Flipendo spell. This is the symbol for the Flipendo spell. Now hold down the mouse button, make the same pattern, and then let go of the button. with the most points at the end of the year wins the house cup. Five points for Gryffindor. And again, Mr. P P Potter, let's see what you can do. See what you can do. <laughs> Remarkable, Mr. P Potter. A perfect spell. Fifteen p points for. Gryffindor. Go on, Mr. Potter, T -t try again. <laughs> the house with the most p points at the end of the year wins the house. Twenty points for G Gryffindor. <laughs> Splendid! You may now enter the Flipendo Challenge to practice the spell. <laughs> Follow me, Mr. P Potter.